to discuss about Brahmaputra River and its tributaries. The Brahmaputra River is the longest river flowing in South Asia. It is an antecedent river, meaning it existed before the formation of Himalayas. It is the ninth largest river in the world by discharge of water and the 15th longest river in the world. It starts from China, passes through India and then enters finally in Bangladesh. Brahmaputra in India passes through Arunachal Pradesh and Assam. Brahmaputra is known as Brahmaputra or Lut in Assamese language. It is called Yarlung Tsangpo in Tibet and Siang or Dihang River in Arunachal. It is called Jamuna River in Bengal. The total length of Brahmaputra River is 2900 km, making it the longest river flowing through India. However, out of the 2900 km of its total length, Brahmaputra in India flows for 916 km, making it sixth longest river flowing within Indian territory. The total drainage basin of Brahmaputra River is 5,80,000 square km. It is the third largest river basin for a river flowing through India. However, Brahmaputra River Basin within India is 1,94,413 square km, which is approximately 4.9% of total geographical area of India, therefore making it fifth largest river basin within Indian territory. The sub-basin of Brahmaputra lies in states of Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Nagaland, Meghalaya, West Bengal and Sikkim. Arunachal Pradesh has highest Brahmaputra drainage area while Sikkim has lowest Brahmaputra drainage area covering 7300 km. Now let's discuss the course of Brahmaputra river. The Brahmaputra river originates near Mansarovar lake in Tibetan region. However, the origin of Brahmaputra has been a source of debate because Brahmaputra has three head streams, one originating from Ansi Glacier, another from Chema Yungdung Glacier and the third from Kubi Glacier. The Tibetan traditions considered Chema Yungdung Glacier as the source of Brahmaputra, while the head stream from Kubi Glacier has more volume and the head stream from Ansi Glacier gives more length to Brahmaputra River. Earlier, the source of river was thought to be Chema Yungdung Glacier, which covers the slopes of Himalayas about 97 km southeast of Lake Mansarovar in southwestern Tibet. However, in 2011, Chinese scientists through satellite survey traced the origin of Brahmaputra River to Angsi Glacier, and this fact has been agreed upon by Indian scientists. Therefore, Angsi Glacier is now the official source of origin of Brahmaputra River. Brahmaputra in Tibetan region after its origin is called the Sangpo, meaning purifier. The Brahmaputra river after its origin flows for nearly 1100 km in easterly direction. Near Namchabara peak, the Brahmaputra river takes a southern southwest turn. This is because of the formation of syntaxial bends in this region. The Brahmaputra river forms a deep gorge in Himalayas called Yarlung Tsangpo Grand Canyon where the cannon walls can reach as much as 500 meter high. The Brahmaputra river enters India near the village of Geling in Arunachal Pradesh. In the hilly region of Arunachal Pradesh, the Brahmaputra river is called Siang river. Here the river passes through the Hang Dibang Biosphere Reserve and west of Brahmaputra river we have Moling National Park in Arunachal Pradesh. Brahmaputra river passes through Abhor hills from where it rapidly descends in plain region. The Brahmaputra river enters plain region near Pasighat where it is called Dihang. The Brahmaputra river flows from Pasighat in the southern direction and reaches Sadia in Tinsukia district of Assam. Here Dibang and Lohit river merge with Brahmaputra river. The Dibang river originates from Dibang Valley in Arunachal Pradesh and passes through Diang Wildlife Sanctuary, Dihang Dibang Biosphere Reserve, then it passes through Mismi Hills and Abhor Hills before meeting the Lohit River near Sadia. The Lohit River, which is an Assamese name, which means Blood River. The Lohit River gets its name due to the color from the lateritic soil through which the Lohit River flows. 
द लोहित रिवर ओरिजिनेट इन ईस्ट तिबेट इन कांगरी कार्पो इट फ्लोज थ्रू मीसमी हिल्स एंड मीट्स ब्रह्मपुत्रा एंड दिबांग रिवर इन सदिया द फेमस ढोला सदिया ब्रिज और भूपेन हजारिका सेतु इज बिल्ट ऑन लोहित रिवर इन असम कनेक्टिंग सदिया एंड ढोला द ब्रिज इज अप्रॉक्सिमेटली नाइन किलोमीटर लॉन्ग एंड इट प्रोवाइड्स कनेक्टिविटी बिटवीन नदन असम एंड अरुणाचल प्रदेश After the confluence of Brahmaputra River with Dibang and Lohit, the river gets its name Brahmaputra, which means son of Brahmaputra. It is also called Doima, meaning mother of water, as well as Budlung Butur by native Bodo tribes. It is one of the few rivers which is attributed as male in Rig Veda, while most of the rivers are attributed as goddesses. Brahmaputra River with varies from 5 km to 8 km in this area just after the confluence of lohit river with brahmaputra river we see dibru sikoi national park in teen sukia district of assam in dibrugarh the hing river meets brahmaputra river the dihing river also called buri dihing originates in patka hills the tributaries of dihing hill drain namdapa national park the famous nahar katika town which is famous for petroleum fields is also located in dihing river valley the river flows through teen sukia district and dibrugarh district of assam before merging with brahmaputra river near dihing mukh just downstream of dihing mukh dikoi river meets brahmaputra in dikoi mukh the dikoi river originates in nagaland and flows through shiv sagar district of assam before joining brahmaputra at dikoimukh between dibrugarh and lakhimpur district the brahmaputra river divides into two channels the northern channel is called kherkhutia channel and the southern is called brahmaputra channel the two channels again join together after 100 kilometers and within these two channels we have mojoli island The Mojoli Island is the world's largest river island. For the downstream in Lakhimpur, Subansri River merges with Brahmaputra. Subansri River originates in southern Tibet. It is a trans-Himalayan river. Subansri River is one of the largest tributary of Brahmaputra, contributing approximately 7.9 percent of the Brahmaputra's total flow. The river flows through Arunachal Pradesh and Assam. Subansri joins the Brahmaputra River at Jamuri Ghat in Lakhimpur district. From Lakhimpur the Brahmaputra River flows into Gola Ghat district of Assam where Dhansri River meets Brahmaputra River. The Dhansri River originates in Nagaland. Intanki National Park is located on the banks of Dhansri River. The Dhansri River forms boundary between Nagaland and Kirby Anglong. The river drains into Brahmaputra River in Dhansri Mukh in Gola Ghat district of Assam, just before Kaziranga National Park. The Kaziranga National Park is located on the left banks of Brahmaputra River in Gola Ghat and Naya Gaon district of Assam. It is mainly famous for India's one-horned rhinoceros. In Tejpur, Kameng River, which is also called as Jia Bhoreli, meets Brahmaputra. The Kameng River originates from Tawang district of Arunachal Pradesh. The Kameng River flows through Pake Tiger Reserve with Arunachal Pradesh and Nameri National Park in Assam. The Dafla Hills are located on the eastern side of Kameng River. The river flows further in Assam and meets Brahmaputra in Tejpur district. Just downstream from here, Orang National Park is located on the right hand bank of Brahmaputra River in Darang and Sonitpur district of Assam at Kopilmukh Kopili River meets Brahmaputra River the Kopili River originates in Jaintia hills of Meghalaya plateau and moves northward towards Assam plains in Assam plains Jamuna River which is a tributary of Kopili River originating from Kirby Anglong plateau meets Kopili River the Kopili River joins Brahmaputra in Kopilmukh now The Brahmaputra River reaches Guwahati and here the width of the Brahmaputra River decreases because of the northward extension of Silong plateau downstream from Guwahati Manas River meets Brahmaputra River the Manas River originates in southern Tibet it is a 
transnational river which originates from china then flows into bhutan and reaches india it is the largest river of bhutan it passes through royal mana national park of bhutan and manas national park in assam finally it meets brahmaputra river at jogi ghopa further downstream the brahmaputra river meets with sankos river which originates in bhutan and flows through raimona national park in assam and meets the brahmaputra river in dubri the section of brahmaputra from dubri to sadia is declared as national waterway 2 The total length from Dubri to Sadia is 891 km where Sadia is located in Assam at the confluence of Lohit and Diwang river and Dubri is located on the border of Bangladesh. From Dubri Brahmaputra river enters Bangladesh. In Rangpur of Bangladesh Tista river meets Brahmaputra river. The Tista river originates in Sikkim and flows through sikkim and west bengal and then in rangpur of bangladesh meets brahmaputra ranjit river is a major tributary of tista river the ranjit river originates in the himalayan mountains in west sikkim the river forms the boundary between sikkim and darjeeling district on the ranjit river we have ranjit dam in sikkim now this dam is different from the ranjit sagar dam of ravi river in pathan kot the ranjit river joins tista in tribeni in west bengal now after the confluence of tista and ranjit river the tista river flows into bangladesh and meets brahmaputra river in rangpur after the merger of tista the brahmaputra river splits into two different branches the eastern branch is called old brahmaputra or lower brahmaputra and it contains very less amount of water this branch of brahmaputra flows in the southeast direction to join meghna river near dhaka the western branch of brahmaputra which carries most of the water of brahmaputra river is called jamuna the jamuna river flows southwards and meet ganga river called padma in bangladesh at golandu ghat The Padma River then flows further and meets Meghna River at Chandpur. Both of this river from here flow as Meghna River into Bay of Bengal. Now let's discuss about Meghna River, which starts as Barak River in Manipur Hills. The river originates in Manipur and flows in southwestern direction and reaching Tipai Mukh. In Tipai Mukh, a dam called Tipai Mukh Dam was planned on Barak River, but Bangladesh has raised concerns over this dam. In Tipai Mukh, Tuwai River joins Barak River. The Tuwai River originates in Myanmar and flows through Manipur, Mizoram to meet the Barak River. It is the longest tributary of Barak River. From Tipai Mukh, Barak River takes southern northwards turn and it flows north till Jiri Mukh where it meets Jiri River. The Jiri River is a tributary of Barak River in the Assam state. The river originates in Daima Hauso district of Assam. The Jiri River serves as the interstate boundary between Manipur and Assam and joins the Barak River at Jiri Mukh. The Barak River further turns west, flowing into Chachar district of Assam. It enters Bangladesh at Bhanga Bazar of Assam. The navigable portion of Barak River in India from Lakhipur to bhanga has been declared as national waterway 16 the total length of this stretch is 121 km the bhanga is located right on the border of bangladesh the barak river when it enters in bangladesh it gets bifurcated into two channels the northern channel is called surma river and the southern channel is called khusiara river the surma and the khusiara river flow within bangladesh and they rejoin in kisor ganj district above Bhaira Bazar in Bangladesh. Here, the river is then known as Meghna River. The Meghna River flows southwards and meets Old Brahmaputra River near Dhaka. Continuing its flow in the southern direction, the Meghna River meets with Jamuna River, where the Jamuna River is the combined stream of Padma, also known as Ganga, and Brahmaputra River. Finally, the Meghna River forms a big delta and enters into Bay of Bengal. on the delta of meghna river we see sundarban mangrove forest
I hope that now you are aware of all the important facts related to Brahmaputra river. If you have liked the video, then please subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching the video.